Yo, what's up guys? I'm Hari Gum. Welcome back to episode 13 of this Pokemon Sacred Gold Egg Lock Challenge. In the last episode, we pretty much had a bunch of real talk. We made some battles and a bunch of routes, and we tried hatching some a few eggs in the last episode, but they didn't hatch. But I think I fixed the problem. We're going to be hatching eggs to start this episode. And so yeah, the plan for this episode is to hatch eggs, get onto the next route, and try making it to the next town by this episode. Hopefully, that's a pretty long goal, but if... But hopefully we can do it. But if you are excited to see today's episode, be sure to pe up that like button down below and all that good stuff you guys do support is always greatly appreciated. And of course, if uh, you have, if you want to send eggs or uh, have friends that you think would be sending eggs, I think I messed up that sentence. <laughs> think would be interested in sending eggs. Uh, be sure to share this video around because I'm still taking eggs until the 16 gym badge. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, the link to send eggs is always in the description. And also, be sure to comment the question of the day. As always, your support, y'all support on this series is always the best. It's the best on the channel, best series on the channel for me so far, as far as support goes. So, first we got Pepsi Man, and uh, I think I messed up the levels. I'm gonna write down the levels right now whenever I hatch them, but hopefully they can hatch in one uh, step. Cause I just, I think I, the problem was I just need to restart my computer for some reason, and then. The eggs actually hatched now. So uh, let's go in and hatch Pepsi Man. Uh, should be, yeah, here we go. Oh, and so this is gonna be swapped out for a level 18 encounter. So Pepsi Man, I have no idea what it's gonna be, but it is a, oh shoot. <laughs> what a way to start out this episode. What a way to start out this episode. A Deoxys, shiny Deoxys, Pepsi Man, what? That is insane! No way! Pepsi Man! Oh my gosh! Pepsi Man! Wow! I think that's speed form? Is that the speed form or is that regular? But I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's check its stats right now. Let me go into my Pokedex right now. Pepsi Man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think that is Deoxys speed. Oh, I don't know. I never I never really see Deoxys to know the difference between both of these guys. Between the forms, at least. So, let's go into Deoxys. He is a quirky nature. I think that's neutral. But look at that speed. Oh yeah, it should be speed. Yeah, it has to be because it has that little thing in the back of its head. I think, pretty sure that's speed form. Let me check the speed form. Yeah, that's speed form. Okay, so it knows Leer and Rap. So let's go into my Generation 4 Pokédex, and I, uh, Generation 6 had Leer and Rap as, yeah, level 1 moves. Oh, shoot, man. But it is a crazy rare Uber, so I'm pretty sure I won't be using it, but it is awesome for seeing that. Unless I do have to use a Pokémon if it comes down to these last few Pokémon. But that's awesome to see a level, to see a freaking Deoxys. <laughs> Alright, let's, so let's hatch this next egg now. Uh, Tit Duck. I'm guessing this was a Magmar or a Psyduck, something like that. I did. I think I'm pretty sure I take. I took the items off of these eggs already. So, uh, so we got Tick Duck. Boom. All right. So now we're finally hatching these eggs. I don't know what the heck happened before. So that Deoxys was legit. Tick Duck, Magmar or Psyduck? Mag B. So I was right, kind of. <laughs> got the Mag B, a shiny Mag B. It's gonna be swapped out for the level 29. Uh, what is it, Mag? Be. It's gonna be swapped out for the level 29 encounter. We got the last episode in the bug catching contest. Uh, I think we could switch it out for a Silcoon, something like that. So yeah, that's awesome, man. Oops. Let's go. Let's use my mouse for this. T I T Duck. This is actually a really good fire type to use. T Duck. Actually, a really good fire type to use. Cause I don't want to. It's not a starter, and it's a fire type, which is what we've been needing. Cause uh. Yeah, Char using a Charmander would be like the same as using a Champ right now. It's just uh, overused all the time. So that definitely could be a good backup plan. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and get my Gibble back in the team. And my Ivysaur. I think I'm going to give the Gibble the experience share because I'm pretty sure... Oh wait, I didn't even look up Magby's moveset. Hold on. My bad, guys. My bad. Because uh, I'm pretty sure either Horsey or Magby... Or either Horsey or... What's his name? Gibble evolved at, evolved at level 24 while I was training them, but I didn't. But I stopped the evolving, so y'all can see it on cam. But anyway, so it's a level 20. Modest nature! Oh, that's powerful. And no smog and leer. Uh, it's a level 1. Those are the level 1 movesets in 
6 gen, so I'm pretty sure small elite. Yeah, level 1 movesets, 100% legit. Alright, so there's our Honchkrow. We're gonna get Honchkrow back whenever we uh, deliver that mail that we got from Spiro in the last episode as well. Alright, so let's get back into it. I think we were pretty much halfway done with the route that we finished before. We left off in Goldenrod City because I wanted to hatch the eggs that we did the last time. And uh, I think we get since we defeated the gym leader here, I think we could go into, I forgot to do this, but I forgot, but uh, we can go inside this building and get the spray duck, which we need to get to the next town. Yep. Yep. Don't worry it's about this here. I'll let you have the squirt bottle for a while then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. I got the hook up. Hey, let me get your number too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. So now we got the squirt bottle, which is what we need in order to deliver the mail on this spear that we have. So now let's keep on going. Let's get outside of the laggy Goldenrod City. And we're not going to lag anymore now that we're in here. And yeah, let's keep on going. So we got our Route 35 encounter. We got our National Park encounter. So I don't think we're going to be able to go to uh, Nash to uh, Route 36. Well, I think we will towards the end of this episode. But anyway, let's go over here. And yeah, so a bunch of real talk the last episode, of course. Um, I told you guys that I got Pokemon Go. I didn't tell you guys which gym leader I was on. But I pro I let you guys, or I left a hint to Lugia in the comments the last episode. But uh, Team Mystic, Blue Team, Mystic. Nah, <laughs> that should be like the symbol because an M. Team Mystic, boy. Nah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. But yeah, I joined Team Mystic. So uh, yeah, but I, I haven't joined any gym leaders because my Pokemon are so freaking weak. I'll tell you guys what. I caught like, I have like 20 Pokemon right now. Non-duplicate Pokemon in my PC in Pokemon Go. And... Uh, I've only caught them in my room. I never wa had the time to walk around and actually train up my Pokemon. So that's why my Pokemon are... I'm not even high leveled at all. But once I have a t have time to like hike around my neighborhood and do a bunch of training, I think I'll like be on par with all the other guys in Team Mystic and all that. But apparently, I've been reading around... Okay, hold on. I I'll real talk after we get done with this stuff. Uh, let's see. My name is Martinus. We shot me again, bud. See you, young Poké Athlete. I'm probably not going to do the Pokeathlon. Unless you guys want me to. He, <laughs> freaking Polyrath is saying, You better be here or you're dead. <laughs> that's, pretty much, what's the, what, that's what he said to me whenever, before he walked back in. But I'm not going to do the Pokeathlon. Uh, unless you guys want to see me do it as like a little extra episode, bonus episode. But, uh. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think so. Let's keep on going. We've already got our National Park Encounter. So... Nothing to do here. I'm pretty sure we get an item from these guys. From one of these guys over here. I forget who though. But hey, I can keep my Pokewalker. So they're talking about Pokewalkers. Oh yeah, that is a thing in this game. Pay attention please. Oops, I have to quit thinking teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. I got another Quick Claw. Oh wait, that's my first Quick Claw, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty useful. That could be pretty dang useful. Alright, so I'm not going to walk into Tallgrass since we already got our... Uh, National Park Encounter. So let's keep on going. And I think we could actually catch that pseudo Wudo if we wanted to in this game. Whenever we get to it. And I think we could battle a bunch of Pokemon trainers here. But I s we can do that. I could do that off of cam. Because we had a bunch of encounters already. Or we had a bunch of battles last episode. So let's not do that again. Let's actually get some progress done. We are in Route 36 now. So this, could this is actually another encounter once we get to the tall grass. So... That's pretty hype, hype, hype up right now. Okay, let me switch up real quick. Champ is level 27, god dang. Wait, a certain knight has the experience here. So let me try switching shadow up front then. And let's keep, let's put Big Mama right here just in case we have to do a double battle. Okay, let's go Gibble. Let's go Gibble. Haven't used Gibble in a long time. And I'm kind of scared to use it right now because it is unlucky episode 13. And I... Have the worst luck. Hopefully that's not the case though, and we can get this done. It's a Ralts, which isn't too scary. It's a level 19 only. But uh yeah, so what was I saying about Pokemon Go? Uh let me just use Dragon Day Dragon Rage. So yeah, I'm Team Mystic. I haven't had the time to hike around and train up my Pokemon. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, and uh so yeah, it's been really fun playing it still though, but I think I'll be on par whenever I uh whatchamacallit. Ooh, oh, hello. 
yeah, I think I'll be on par with uh, Team Mystic whenever I actually have time to go train and all that stuff. But apparently, what the gym, what the teams are like, it's pretty much like Red versus Blue, Team Valor versus Team Mystic. That's what I've been reading online and all that stuff. And uh, I don't know. Apparently, Team Instinct is just like that side team that there's no one, nobody really cares about. I don't know. Sorry if you're a part of Team Instinct, but uh, that's what I've been reading. Well, I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently, but a lot of comments said it was true. And oh, 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 hello. Oh, gosh. Good thing Shadow lived that. Oh, I would have been mad. I would have just jinxed myself right there. All right, I'm switching out definitely. Here comes a Kadabra. Do I not have any? Oh, I switched out Haunch Girl. Of course I did at this time. Oh, I have Signal Beam on Black Manta. Thank you for whoever sent out Black Manta and put Signal Beam on it. <laughs> really useful right now. Really useful. All right. Now, oh, yeah. So also... I just got OKO'd! What?! What the heck? Oh my gosh. That is messed up. Oh my gosh. We just added Black Mana too. We just added him. I, I, I jinxed myself. Unlucky number 13. I said I'd hope that I don't lose a Pokemon because it's uh, level or since it's episode 13. But I'm the master of jinxing. Somebody was bound to die. How did he get OKO'd like that? Kadabra didn't even have any special, any like, he didn't even set up on me. He just legit OKO'd me. Oh my gosh. So I guess we, we don't have any other water types, honestly. Except for freaking... I mean, we could try using War Turtle again. Or we can get back Mantine. Which I need to nick or re-nickname it. What was his nickname again? Let's check. Okay, so it has Sinnoh Beam and Psy Beam too. So it pretty much does replace Black Mana. Black Mantis, whatever his name is. Black Manta. That's five deaths. Oh my gosh. We don't even have our fifth gym badge. You know what? Screw it. Let's add Black Manta to the team. Actually, no, no, no. We'll train him up off of Cam. Let's get Honchkro in the team for now. That sucks, man. That really sucks. We could, we could use a side hit. Nah. Okay, so Black the Mantine. I forgot what his name was. Uh, I, I do plan on adding him to the team for next time or whenever we deliver the mail from Spiro. So, uh, I, I don't know. I'll probably have to look back to the other episode, but let me not, let me go ahead. Let me know, uh, what his nickname is. If you guys remember it right now. So, cause I'll have to nickname it and add it to the team as well. But on yet another death, that's five deaths. Well, I guess that's not too bad considering it's a freaking hard ROM hack. So, oh, they, they got rid of this grass. I didn't even know they- Oh, they got rid of that tree to cut right there. I didn't even know that. Oh, please let me leave. Okay. Okay, let me switch out Shadow as well. Let's go into Big Mama. Big Mama's our lowest level Pokemon other than Sir Knight. Uh, let me go ahead and heal up my Shadow just in case. You never know. Uh, let's use a Potion. Why not? Let's use- Let's use them all up. Screw it. Alright, there we go. Right, let's keep on going. Route 36. This is a new encounter, so our first encounter, Route 36, is going to be a growth. <laughs> All right, nice, nice, nice. Another fire type, but of course it's not our encounter. Oh shoot, it's a fire type. Okay, uh, level 16. It could okay. Oh my Magby. Let's go into my champ, actually. Does it have? Uh, let's use Thunder Punch. It's not Stab. I have a feeling we're gonna... I have a feeling this is gonna be our first encounter that we forfeit today. This this Thunder Punch is gonna okay. I have a feeling. I just have that feeling. So I'm not mad because I called it. But that's our first encounter that we just forfeited. That's our first encounter we forfeited. Screw episode 13. Why does 13 have to be so unlucky? No! This is not how it works, man. 
one number doesn't determine my destiny. He's using growth. If we don't OKO, we might be screwed. All right, we got a crit. Okay, so now we got some luck today. Sir Knight's level 25. Wants to learn Swords Dance. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Will-O-Wisp or Swords Dance? Let's wait until Sir Knight gets more physical type moves. Because he, he, all he has is special type attacks. Here comes a Quagsire. Okay, that's Big Mama's time to shine. Uh, let's just Energy Ball. No need to pedal dance. Alright, there we go. Alright, since Sir Knight is level 25, uh, let me go ahead and take the expansion off of Sir Knight and give it to Gibble. Let me check Gibble's... I swear, if... Uh, Whatchamacallit? Uh, I totally lost train of thought right there. Okay, hold on. But I swear, if the Black Manta, if he was the one that I was supposed to level up next whenever... Or if he was the one that's supposed to evolve whenever he leveled up, I would be... I'm gonna be so mad. I should have just freaking evolved it. He wouldn't have got, got all killed by that Kadabra. Please be Shadow. That's the one that's supposed to evolve when he levels up. Level 24. Okay, so it was Gibble that evolves at level 24. But I stopped him from evolving off of cam whenever I was training it up. So, he should be evolving sometime soon in this episode. Hopefully, it will be during this episode. Alright, let's keep on going. And we're going up to the Pseudo Wudo. You Pseudo Wudo locked in. With any Pokemon PC, they ain't gotta be in my top six. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Alright. Let's save my game first, actually. Hold up. This is like a freaking gym battle, man. I'm so freaking... I'm so traumatized from this pseudo after seeing G's Soul Silver, and I was like, after all these years, it traumatizes me. It's a it's a pokey killer, man. This thing is a pokey killer. But hopefully, this can make up for our Route 36 encounter. Yeah, it attacked. Okay, so so we don't get our Route 36 encounter, but this is technically a static encounter in Route 36, so it could be the same thing. So we can catch this pseudo Wodo since it's a uh, it's a what you call it static encounter we don't miss let's try for a leech seed as long as pseudo wudu doesn't have like uh any ground type or fire type moves let's go ahead and chunk a pokeball at it lure ball no okay what's a fastball easier to catch fastball when it's pseudo wudu fast nah it's a rock type what are you t what am i talking about all right let's see if one pokemon can do it when it's asleep well, not even a wiggle that's very encouraging <laughs> okay let's chunk another pokeball one two three oh i thought i caught it wait get, stay asleep okay thank you thank you i'm gonna go ahead and use a great ball great ball is honestly my best ball right there i don't know why but a great ball always works for me for some reason i don't know why i just have the best the best luck with a great ball three oh you cheater you're just teasing me now you're just teasing me now you little fool Okay, let me put it back to sleep. Alright. So now... He's, he can't do anything. If he uses Fessade, I'm gonna be so mad. Let's use an Ultra Ball. I'm not, I'm not risking it at this range. Come on. One. Two. Three. Yes! We got the Pseudo World level 25. That's actually really good. So this is gonna be a Static Encounter. I'm just gonna write it down as a Static Encounter. Uh, level 25. Alright. So now we got to switch it out for an egg now. The imitation Pokemon. Although it, although it always pretends to be a tree, it, its composition appears more similar to rock than to vegetation. I know, it does, right? The Pseudo-Odo, for the longest time when I was a kid, I thought it was a freaking grass type. <laughs> Legit, no joke. I thought it was a grass type. I was like, but then I, but then I found out that it was a rock type. So my... I kept on telling myself, I gotta water this plant, because <laughs> it's super effective. I gotta water this plant. All right, so and I get berry pots. Oh, that can, I could actually plant my orange berries in there. That could be useful for us. Give me some orange berries. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those orange berries in my berry pots because I'm pretty sure, uh, hopefully, the Drayano didn't change the. Hopefully, it didn't change that little mission to feed. Milk tanks to a bunch of orange berries. Because I always do that mission to get Moo Moo Milks. Because I love Moo Moo Milks. So, uh, I'll go ahead and try, uh, do. I'll try growing the orange berries right now. 
Depends on how many orange berries we have. We should have a bunch. Oh, we only have three? Come on. I'll plant them all. Screw it. All right, let's plant the berry. This is some tedious work, man. We're gardeners now. We are gardeners. I don't even think we have any fertilizer either. If we do, I should probably use it because that's the only thing they're good for. Press the right buttons to move. Wait, what? That's water. All right, so let's water this one too. I think that was just a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we just watered the water. Oh, we just watered, watered the water. What? We just watered the plants. So, uh, yeah, we're good right there. But anyway, so I think we can go ahead and drop off the mail from the Spiro to the guy in Route 36. We are in Route 36 right now. What's up? Okay, so it's not that dude. Does it? Is it this dude in... This one right here? It should be. Let's let's see what he has to say. Things are busy lately because we have people coming from... What the heck, man? This is Route 36. Okay, screw it. Let's go, in and, ca let's go in and catch or hatch an egg right now. I don't know where this spear was supposed to go. I'll probably have to go back and talk to that dude to see... To clarify which... Uh, whatchamacallit? To clarify which route I'm supposed to drop off this spear in. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and hatch or switch out an egg. I do have my phone with me, so let me get out the dice roll app right now. Dice roll, move Pokemon. Alright, so where do we leave off at? Let's put the pseudo widow back in. Alright. So we left off. There's five in here. Five in here. Five in here. Four in here. Okay, so we left off in box four. So let's go ahead and roll the dice now. Ah, uh, row four, column one. So pretty much right. We have a bunch of column four and column four right here. So row four, column one. Yeah. Okay. So we got Peanut holding the leftovers. Peanut, isn't Peanut's that comic book character, isn't it? I think so. Uh, shoot, man. I have no idea what this guy could be. I have no idea who Peanut can be. <laughs> <laughs> this is that I kind of like the ones that I don't know what could be because then it's like more exciting to hatch the egg but uh Yeah, I don't know who the heck peanut can be Peanut colada peanut colada. No, just kidding. All right, so I guess we're gonna hatch peanut now All right, so who's it gonna be? I have no idea legit survey says Ooh, Fan fee that is actually another ground type. Oh, that can be really useful definitely can be a uh a backup for us and it's a unique Pokemon hashtag peanut for life <laughs> no, I was kidding all right peanut oh that's a cute nickname so we got that's a fan fee or fampy why do I say fan fee all the time fampy okay let's check his moveset it that's gonna be swapped out for a level 25 egg which pretty much I think it evolves already from that let's check its summary let's go into fampy real quick Fampe. Okay, so it's an adamant nature. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, look at that moveset. Okay, so let's go to my fourth gen, fourth generation moveset. It has body slam, ice shard. Okay, hold on. So we got tackle, which is a level one move. Defense curl is a level one move. Body slam is an egg move. Ice shard is an egg move. 100% legit. Yeah, hooray for peanut. Definitely a great ground type backup for us. Just in case anything happens to Gibble. Because we've been losing ground types left and right lately. Alright. So that's a good encounter. I'm pretty sure once we, whenever we level it up through rare candies, I think it'll evolve. Or right, let me check what... Let me check what level it evolves. It evolves at level 25. Legit right. It evolves right when I stop using rare candies on it. That's actually really funny. Okay. Freaking Spiro, man. Where... That grass mill. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, go back to and talk to that dude to see what the heck, where do we, who do we deliver this freaking Spiro to? So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished talking to this guy, he just said he's on Route 31. Where did I get Route 36 from? I don't even know. So he's on Route 31, which is... Right on the on the right of Violet City. So let's go back over there then. Uh, freaking Route 31, what the heck? <laughs> Where did I get Route 36 from? 
I don't know. I I think my mindset was that they're both right next to each other, so I just mix up the numbers. But hopefully we can uh, deliver this Firo. <laughs> hopefully we can deliver this Firo from the other, to end off this episode and try try uh, what you call it. Try adding that black, not black mana, that Mantine to our team so we can start training it up to get it on par with our Pokemon. Okay, so he's on Route 31, so we have to go through Violet City. We, j we were just here, like what the heck? <laughs> All right, and then hopefully we have we have to make it to Ecrytic City by next episode, like for sure. I I'm pretty sure there's no doubt about it that we're gonna make it to Ecrytic City by the next episode. So it has to be this guy. Oh wait, no, 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 on Route 31. So let's go on Route 31 and find this dude. We gonna find you. Is it another, who is it? Is it another dude that, uh, I can't even talk right now. Where is this guy at? We're gonna find him. We're gonna find him. He's on Route 31 somewhere. He can't hide forever. Where is he? Okay, so we were here. So this is Cherry Grove. This is Route 30. 30? Oh my gosh! Where is this guy at? I'm gonna pause the video and find this guy. We're not gonna waste any more time with this Spiro. God dang it. So see you in a bit again. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. So I found him. I found him. It's that dude that's sleeping. That dude that sleeps. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so he feels like reading some words. So I'm gonna hand him the mail. It's this dude. Let's see. Thank you for your mail. It was such an exciting adventure. I did not like Zubat though. That's what he says. I went to a dark cave the other day with a friend. That cave leads to another route. By the way, I must thank you for being so kind. I'd like you to do something good in return. I'd like to give you something good in return. So TM44, what does he give me? That is z z z uh, rest. So I was right. This dude does give me rest, but I have to do that Firo mission. Finally, we get rid of Firo. Do we keep the Firo or does he just take the mail? And the Pokemon. Let's actually check if we have the Fero back on our team. Uh, no, he takes the Fero as well. So, yeah, we can't keep the Fero to swap it out for an egg. So, yeah, he takes the mail and the Pokemon. Alright, can these guys, like, just go away? I want to try making it to Ecrutique City. I want to get as close to Ecrutique City as possible. So, let's keep on going this way. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my running shoes, like, permanently. <laughs> so, I don't have to hold B when I'm running. All right, so now we're in Violet City. Let's go ahead and withdraw our Mantine into our team. And then let's try doing some more battles before we end up this episode to try evolving our Gibble as well. Because I want to do that. That was the plan for like the last two episodes. Like, god dang. Okay, so he has Water Absorb. Oh my gosh, that's actually really good. Okay, so we have two Pokemon that are weak to uh, electric types, which is my Hans Crow and Mantine. And, uh,. One dude also let me know that half of our team is also weak to flying types now. Big Mama Champ and Sir Knight. So we got to watch out for that. We do have Mantine with Aurora Beam to take care of flying types though. So our team doesn't have the best type coverage, but it's definitely something that we can do. It's definitely We can definitely hold our ground. And especially because we already took care of the flying type gym. I think we should be... I don't think we have to worry about that as bad as compared to whenever we started this Let's Play. So, yeah, I think we should be good. All right, let's keep on going, though. Make it to Ecrutic City. Let's do some battles. I think this guy wants to headbutt. What's up, man? hey -ya! Dang, he just caused an earthquake. These trees might not be bricks, but I can sure give you something to break bricks with. Break? Bricks with? Please tell me that's Brick Break. Oh, shoot! Brick Break! Oh, guess who's getting that? Oh, I know. I was going to say Champ is getting that, but Gallade, we also have Gallade, too. Oh, man. That should be a question of the day. Who gets Brick Break? That's all I'm going to say. Who gets Brick Break? Gallade or Champ? Who gets Brick Break? Gallade or Machamp? Because Gallade doesn't have a fighting type move, but it is fighting type. So a stab Brick Break from him would be sick. But Machamp, or but Champ, but Monferno would also benefit from Brick Break as well. But it already has Double Kick. Oh man, that is something to ponder on. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and... Wait, no, no, let's not Pedal Dance. I think Pedal Dance hurts everybody. 
So let's do that and let's go ahead and Dragon Rage that. You know what? Let's jump the mine in. Let's jump this mine in. Alright. So there goes Energy Ball, Dragon Rage. Boom! Alright. Okay, Odom. Big Mama's level 25. Shadow, almost level 25. Alright, let's, let's jump him again. Encore. I do plan on using Energy Ball again, so joke's on you! Ha! Boom! Alright, cool. Come on, Shadow. Level up. Dang it. Level up. Okay, let me check their move. Or let me check their... What? I don't even know what, what to call it. So he's an adamant nature. Let's check their natures. <laughs> Monferno's adamant. Sir Knight's lonely. So... But look at those attacks. Oh my gosh, Sir Knight's attack it. I don't know. That's kind of scary. I kind of want to see what Champ's attack is whenever he evolves. Because he's not fully evolved. So no wonder his attack's lower. Y'all guys decide. Sir Knight or Champ for a brick break? That's the real question. But... Let's go ahead and that's 30 minute mark right there, but I kind of want to get this double battle over with because I'm pretty sure once we finish this double battle, I think we're it's a home stretch to Ecrutic City. Hopefully we don't end off. Hopefully we don't lose any Pokemon to end off this episode. Okay, so there's two grass types here. Let's go ahead and switch out both of my Pokemon. <laughs> let's do that and let's go into Honchkrow. All right, let's go. We're li we literally just switched out both of our Pokemon. Oh no. Okay, who? Oh, who used nature power? If it was Gloom, I'm jumping. We're jumping Gloom right now. Pass asleep. Get out of here, Gloom. Get wrecked. Don't even use nature power. Acid. Okay, as long as I don't get screwed over. Oh my. I shouldn't have done this battle, man. I should not have done this battle. Oh, wait. Cloyster. Oh, shoot. What does he want to use? Does he want to use an ice type move? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a, it's half ice type, half... Oh, but Champ's asleep. This isn't good. I just gotta hope he wakes up. Let's use Drill Peck on Weeping Bell. Nope, he doesn't wake up. Weeping Bell's dead. What does Cloyster want to use? I'm kind of scared. Okay, Shadow's 25. That's cool. What's going Slash? Uh, let's check his moveset. Uh, if only cut, but nah, screw it. Give up slash. Okay, what does he want to use? What does he want to use? Aurora Beam. Oh, no. Honchkrow, you can take it. Oh, no. I don't know if you can take it. Oh, no. He lived? One HP, he lived. What? Okay, I'm switching back. I'm switching out right now. Oh, but who we go out to? I think we go on to Sir Knight. Oh, this is hard. Can Big Mama live? He has two HP. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is this makes me really nervous. This makes me really nervous. Okay, Water Gun. That's fine. Aurora Beam. Oh no! Please tell me Big Mom can live it better. No, no. Oh. Okay, okay. Magical Leaf. Cloyster. This is all or nothing. I hope you guys know that. I'm not no, I'm not gonna risk it. Do we outspeed the cloister? No, I don't think we can. I'm using a hyper potion. I need to heal him up all the way. I'm using a hyper potion. Okay, he uses water gun. I use magical leaf. Can I kill this cloister, please? I don't kill it. Why does he use orb? Okay, so I out I don't know if I outspeed the cloister. But I know- I don't know if Big Mama outspeeds a Cloyster, but I know Sir Knight does, so I'm- I think we're good. Let's Energy Ball the Cloyster just in case. Starmie outspeeds me, but I live. Cloyster's dead, okay. Oh my gosh, this episode's going to- Okay, oh! We didn't lose any Pokemon, 2 HP! Oh, ho, ho. screw that battle. Screw that battle. And to end off this episode, we evolved Gibble. We didn't lose any more Pokemon, we only lost one Pokemon, but- Oh gosh, we need to train up Mansa, man. Manta. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> okay, Panda Panda. <laughs> okay, we <laughs> we evolved Shadow into a Gabite. Gabite? Gabite, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's how we end off the episode. So we didn't lose any Pokemon in that battle. We almost did. What a what a freaking episode, man. This was a great episode. Next time Mantine will be level 25 along with all my other Pokemon, and we'll go into Ecrutic City to end off this episode. 
So yeah, that'll be it for this episode then. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to peck up that like button down below and all that good stuff because your support is always greatly appreciated. And actually, I th let's see if we can make it. Okay, no, we're not playing this game. I'm going to kill this guy off of cam. Uh, so. No, wait, no, no, no. We let's kill this guy. Oh, heck no. This little troll. Watch him not use any moves now. All right, watch, watch, watch. Let me show you guys how bad my luck is. I'm going to switch out. He's going to use hypnosis. No, he's going to use takedown. Oh my gosh, that does a lot. Oh my gosh, we might die to a freaking Stantler. Let's run. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me get off this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'll see you over the next episode. But until then, stay safe, guys.